Hildy's world has collapsed. Just can't pass the dim mode. Where is everyone? And fail them again. All right, welcome to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today we're gonna play Bonfire Demo. It's a turn-based combat game, and let's see if you like it. First of all, we gotta fight a rat. Ah. All right, so we've got a couple of options. We can click on the enemy to attack it, or we can click on our souls to give ourselves an ability. Each character has a different abilities. I'm wasting my time here. So we can click on this to the attack on ourselves, which is going to give us purge. First attacked rat. It hits us back, and then we hit it again. Great. Now we've got a lot more enemies to find. Too many. Well, it's over anyway. At least I'll go down fighting. Ooh. Ephraim? I was... So this will turn things around. We're still outnumbered, Hildy. Right. I'll cover you if things get rough. So he's our healer. And you can count on my healing. And he's really, really good at stuff. So he can, he can use Sanctuary to sort of protect himself from getting hits. Or he can use healing on her, or he can do regular attacks. We're gonna start us off with the piercing strike at one of these things. And also hover over this to learn the ability, or hover over this to learn our soul. So we can hear that the sanctuary makes the user untractable and raises special. And she has purge, removes debuffs, and heals the user. So she can heal herself as well. So she's gonna hit this guy. And then he's going to use sanctuary so the enemies cannot attack him, they can only attack her. She also has an ability called Protect, where she could move in front of him and if an enemy tries to attack him, she would uh, take the damage instead. I'm gonna heal her up very soon. Now something to watch out for is that not only when you get hit, not only your regular health gets low, but also your max health gets lowered. So let's heal her up. So we actually cannot heal her to full because she took too many hits, so her max health would go up lower. So that's something to watch out for, and I think it's quite an interesting idea. It's essentially so that you cannot spam your healers forever, and you actually do have to make sure that you don't get hit too often. This one's mine. Looks like I'll get to live another day. Unlike these mountain folk. Look at the overlord skew I told you were done for. No, not even close. Good. Have you found anyone else? Heard explosions. Maybe Zifka made it here? I think so, yeah. Okay. Anything useful in there? Check it out. We get our very first item, which is a restoration or healing potion. It starts uses health and max health. Now we get Zifka. Why? Hello there. I'll be right with you. And she just insta-killed that- he just insta-killed that guy amazingly. Zivka is really really strong. He has a charge up ability that essentially allows him to do stronger damage later, but he sort of- he needs to prep it up. It's really interesting. I like that character a lot. He does worried, man. Me? Oh, please. I was worried about you. Save the banter for later. You need to get out of this place. Yeah, about that. Mournfolk blocked the road already. So we'll just break through. And that's why I hang out with you. <laughs> yeah. This is overall because we can hover over them as usual and learn more. Or the the or the game will just tell you. They can heal each other. Yep. There's that magic, Zivko. Try to take them down with a single strike. My pleasure. So their ability is to charge up, which will allow you to do a lot more damage. We're gonna start us off with the piercing strike on this guy. Then this guy's gonna just charge himself up. Get extra strength. And then we're gonna use an attack over here. Uh, it's two sun to the boss. I'm gonna charge up and insta-kill this guy over here. 
and I can. So you just keep it. So you can see they heal up now. We're going to use protect on Zivka because he can heal everybody else. And then we're going to use this blast to hopefully, yeah, it's like kill that guy. Perfect. Two regular attacks on the other one. Ooh, motivation's up. So this is a motivation level. Every time a motivation level goes up, you you restore your health and increase your stats for this quest. It doesn't last between quests, so it's just for that one quest and that's it. Could have charged him up, but it's not necessary. You can just kill that enemy. That's fine. Get some money. Good work. I worry others didn't have as much luck. We've moved away from our goal too. You are such downers. Sheesh. Let's just make a camp here. A suicidal quest can wait a day. It's not like the world can get any worse. <laughs> you really shouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm afraid he's right. If anyone else is around, they'll find us. Let's get a wood for a bonfire then. Make it burn bright. I really like the way it shows skills. I think it's really nice. Then you get bonus from motivation ups and uh, here it says how many items you've used. You get total victory bonus and we've got the money. You can use the money to buy more items like the restoration potion that we have. One part is a game about journey and failure. It will feel hopeless at times, but you can tailor it to your personal preference and experience in tactical RPGs. Which aspect would you like to focus on? Journey or failure? We're gonna go to journey and experience the journey our goal. Now we're going to have the bonfire, we have a certain amount of food which you can see on the left, we currently have 12 and we can rest which allows us to sort of reheal wounded play, uh, characters and things like that, but it will cost us our food. We can also click on character and customize them. For example we have this ability armor boost which increases the armor attribute and we can put it as a special on our ability. That helps but we're still too weak to reach the keep. Agreed, we need some proper training. It's unlikely any of the old masters are still alive. Yeah, that's true. We have a new quest. We're supposed to find someone who could train us properly. Well, we'll try. And you can also see like the abilities and attack, special. Uh, so attack is regular damage, special increases power bars, healing and items by 30%. Armor subtract 45 points from enemies attacks that when hit and speed determines who goes when. Alright, so let's uh, embark on a journey. So you have a regular quest, which is kind of this thing over here, and then you have this circle, which means that you can send up a single guy. Where to now, Hildy? We can't stay here, that's for sure. But we also need supplies, gold, anything we can scrap. And food, don't forget the food. Alright, so we're gonna send somebody to hunting grounds to get some food. We're gonna stand, send... Let's send... Um... Zivka. There's also a blast man, so a wielder of awesome and destructive power. And the rest of us are just gonna wait, because there's nothing else to do that you could do with just like a single character, so we're just gonna rest for one day. Yep. It's gonna cost us some food, so let's hope we find some more. The night is cold and dark. Food. Zifka returns successful from the hunting grounds. The forest is entirely abandoned, letting wild animals try. Just a good hunt. We got seven food. That's really, really good. But let's embark on a journey and let's check out our options. We've got short journey. The Kim Cairn is a short hike away. Mindfolk treasure. Raid Mindfolk treasury. Boss fight. A brawl. Take on a monster pack. The Grand Wheel is a short hike, short journey, and the infested mount. Let's do the Mindfolk treasure first. Few mindfolk are guarding some ill-gotten treasure, we could seize it. Everyone ready? The risk is low, we could 25 gold and some more loot, so let's do it. We've also picked our people and our loadout, as you might have seen. So we've got a couple of these guys, they've got protect, and this guy has a charging up. So this is the same, this one is the same as Zivko, so we want to focus on him first. So we're going to start by hitting... Uh, we have nobody who has healing, so we can just straight up go at this guy. You charge yourself up. She's going to protect my healer. And then we're going to keep hitting this guy. We might actually be able to use the blast right now to just insta-kill him. Yeah, I, I didn't want to risk him hitting us because he, he hits really hard. Now Zivka is actually quite good because his regular attack is also around 20. I think when we actually do the damage like after subtracting the armor and all that, so like typical attack is 20. 
So he is actually quite good even without the charging up, but it's a good idea to make sure that you can charge him up and then kill somebody instantly, especially if the enemy has healers. Oh, we've got lots of stuff here. You've got Aegis, which is increased party's armor for a few turns. Very nice. Gold. And can we get food? No more gold. Okay. Gold is good because we can buy more items, but you have to find a merchant on kind of like a journey. That's a wrap. Oh yeah, that was easy. That was very, very easy. Pretty solid execution. I would say so myself. That was very good. Victory bonus 25. Got some money. And off we go. Alright, let's go to a new item and we're gonna embark on a new journey. Uh, let's try to take on the monster pack. That seems like it could be interesting. 100 gold. Better than staying here. Yeah, I agree with you. People may have left, but monsters and more still roam this land. They should clear it out. Let's go. A bit of a rough fight, but we'll do. Ooh, what is this? Acquire the target and lowers their armor. Attacks all targeted enemies with a deadly beam. Ooh. And wolves? Howl. Unerring howls reduces buff durations. Alright, so we're gonna start off with... Uh, let's go with Sanctuary. It marks her, that's fine. You charge up so you can hit the eye. We're gonna probably start off with the eye. Her purge does what? Removes debuffs and heals the user. Is this considered a debuff? Let's try. Yes, yeah, so she can take it away. That's actually quite good. You... Start hitting the eye, maybe? You charge yourself one more time and then we're gonna hit the eye really hard. Now you're gonna use a regular attack on the eye. And then Zivko's gonna use his blast, which insta kills the eye. Very nice. So we don't have to worry about him during time. It does lower his armor still, so that's not ideal. But it's not something we have to like worry about too much. I will end you, you say to the wolf. As if the wolf could understand. It doesn't know what you're saying. We're gonna need to heal up this guy. We could do protect, but I don't think it's worth it. Let's just use healing. I'm also probably not gonna charge up and just use regular blasts, because we can. The character dies uh, in the fight, it's not really a big deal. After the end of the fight, they'll they'll be wounded, but they will come back. And wounding is gonna lower your max health. What do we got? Ank of Return raises dead party members back to life. Okay, that's nice. So you could raise them within the same quest and have them keep fighting. A glimmer of hope. You got so much money from this. That was really, really nice. I like it. It costs us our food, by the way, the whole thing. Every time it costs us some food. Keep that in mind. Let's embark. We could go... Let's move towards the Dim Karn, to a different area. Short stroll take us to Dim Karn. As far as our journeys go, this shouldn't be too dangerous. This will lead us to another area. Shouldn't we wait for others? They're still out there, they'll catch up. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to a new area. Why not? Start off with the bomb. That's nice. So we can do some da heavily damages random opponent. Alright, we'll start this against the rats. I want to get rid of these kind of smaller people. I think first. And maybe just straight up hit the rat because we should be able to kill it very quickly. Uh, this is gonna hit the wolf because um, my healer can finish off this rat. Yep. You hit this guy as well. Again, I could try to charge him up, but I don't think it's worth it right now. I think we're better off just doing like regular hits. Dead. You could just use Perch and heal yourself up, because why not? Now it's a really good trick is when you the motivation moves up, you get yourself healed up. So it would be a good idea to try to work on the motivation, maybe not use healing, because you know that the motivation will increase your max level and heal rest. So we've got a charging guy and a healer. So you start on the healer, and then Zivka's gonna charge himself up, and once he's turned, he's gonna hit up this guy. We're gonna get two charges, and probably one hit from our melee. Well, just hold this up one more time and then we're gonna hit this guy. This should allow us to insta kill him, especially since the healer is not really healing him up yet. So you go at the healer. 
You hit this guy with the, your blast. Dead. You ideally... Oh, we finished off the healer that went very well. And now we can heal up easily. Damage received also reduces max health. We already talked about it. Uh, do... No, you hit and your healer will heal you. We'll need to heal yourself. It's fine. Heal her. Great. Keep hitting this guy. We also need to heal our Rivka. Our charge up person. It's just... Yep, not bad at all. And we've got the motivation so we healed up. Don't they seem more determined to you? Mindfuck, determined? At least on scale from a Zion side to a full on eh. <laughs> it's really nice scales. It's dangerously close to an eh. We got near the overworld's keep this time. This could be a consequence. But the faster they come, the quicker we can kill them. <laughs> <laughs> She's very much a melee fighter. There's only three of us now, Hildy. Yeah, we can't stay in one place for too long. We get. We've got another Anka for turn, so we can raise a lot of dead guys. That's good. Oof, and it's time for a boss fight. What do you do, big man? You can do it. No. Just keep your focus. Slimes the enemy and deals their, delays their action, slowly regenerates users' health. Alright, so we'll start this off. Let's increase the uh, armor on everybody. And then we're gonna start hitting... Uh, you know what, maybe let's protect my healer, because we're probably gonna need a lot of that. You just sort of charge yourself up. I think we can do quite a lot of damage on this big guy. I thought we would do like barely any, but we seem to be hitting him pretty well. I think, I think now the charge thing will probably kill him. Yep, that was very easy. I thought it would be a really hard boss fight, but we like walked through it, no problem. I mean, we did use the, the item, but still. Nice. We'll be okay, I'm sure it will. So will we get how much? 66 gold almost 700 gold. Like money doesn't seem to be a problem in this game. It's more like finding a merchant so you can actually buy something. Which I think kind of makes sense. Like uh, there are not many people around so there are not many people to buy stuff from. Have you could send some people out? We've arrived. Nice place. Dead, deserted, but otherwise nice. It's plans, Hildy? So it's just area through then leave. You need to stay on the move. So we're gonna send somebody here to an overturned cart. We're gonna send uh, Livka, I think? And then on this other mission, we're gonna send treasure trove. Who to send? Uh, we're gonna send Hildy. And otherwise, we're just gonna rest. Yep. One night later. Need to find some food. Sifko returned successful from the overturned card. Sifko found some applies at the overturned card. Who knows what happened to its original owners? Ooh, these are really good stuff. This allows us to heal all party members, this thing. And I'm not sure what this horn does, but we'll see. see in a minute. How do I turn successful from the treasure trove? Most of the treasures already been looted or fell into mournful hands. Still better than nothing. We got some money. We did not get any food though, which is a bit worrying. So let's go somewhere. Ancient technique, investigate a place of power, help a stranger. Let's try to, or wait a month for a park for food. We need to do that. And we've got select loadout. We could place this victory horn, increases party's attack for a few turns. Let's put that in. And instead of this, we're going to place a healing scroll. Yep. And off we go. We need the food. Got a charge up person and two protectors. That's gonna be rough because they can easily like protect them. So you try to charge up. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to actually hit this guy. That's the problem. We're gonna try to kill off at least one of these guards. You keep charging up. Almost dead. Should also be protecting my healer as well. You use the blast. Insta kill him, great. You finish off this guard. And you girl need to protect my healer. 
Because he can't heal him, heal himself. He can only use the sanctuary, which doesn't actually heal him. It just makes the user untargetable and raises the special. So that's one thing to watch out for that he cannot be healed. Is a bit of a problem. Low to strike. That was nice. It. He can be healed with the motivation, of course. Another victory, huh? All right. Food. That's what we needed. Not much food, though. Okay, even more food. Perfect. Perfect. And we're done. We did good. Pretty solid execution. Now we're gonna do one more quest, we're gonna do help a stranger. This one, a call for help. We've heard cries for help on our arrival for the first time in many months. So I wasn't the only one who heard those cries? No. If there's even a chance there's a survivor, we need to act fast. It's actually a medium difficulty and we get new service, so let's try it out. Let's get moving before it's too late. Alright, charge up heal and regular guy. This won't take long. Well, actually... Let's start attacking the healer. And we're gonna have Zifko get ready for the... For this guy. Also, like, her to protect my guy, but I also need to keep hitting the... No! Ah, I didn't mean to do that. That was a big mistake. In that case, you need to protect him. And we're just gonna regularly attack this guy until he's dead. We do not have the healer now, so that's pretty good. Oh no, of course they did the protecting. You charge up. You... You know, don't heal yet, just keep hitting them. You can heal her later. Sure, use a blast on him. Gonna heal her in a moment. We could use let's use the restoration potion on her because we can finish off the guard and now we can very easily finish off this as well. That went pretty well. We probably could have done it without the potion, but oh now we have a merchant. We arrived just in the nick of time. No way this wandering trader could fend them off alone. Don't worry, sir, the danger's gone now. We'll gladly pay for our wares too. Yeah, we need supplies. Okay. Prism. Destroy all magical effects to power a deadly beam. Burns all opponents with holy flames? We're taking that. Store the armor. Increases user's armor for this quest, but this is just for one person. Bomb and healing. We'll take another healing as well. And I think we're done. Alright. We'll get her more wood. One more to scratch out. Alright, I think this is a good time to end the episode. If you enjoyed it, you can click on the right to watch some other turn-based combat games. I'll see you there. Bye-bye!